All right, Ken, thank you. We'll go back to uh, Monica Casey uh, right now, who is out there at the airport, um, giving us this uh, live view here. Um, Monica, I understand you're talking with someone there? Yeah, Renee, that's right. We're talking with an employee here from RDU, and I just want to recap, Kurt, what you were you were just telling us about this morning. You mentioned you did not see this happen, but tell me a little bit about when things started getting different here at RDU. Absolutely. Um, like I said, we had a flight coming in around 10, 15. Um, it was delayed, 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 and then, like I said, come to find out, they're not letting anything in or, or out, and that was the reason because of the the plane incident. Did you see any flame or smoke at the scene? No, I didn't see any flame or smoke. And you mentioned you've worked here for some months. Have you ever seen anything like this? Never ever. Never ever. And I was asking some people around here had they seen anything like it. They've never seen anything like it either. How are you feeling right now? I want to, I mean, I feel bad for the people that are on board. That's about it. I'm really sorry. We were late to this. Can you just go back and talk about what you saw? I'm so sorry. No, it's all good. Uh, I just, I didn't see anything. I seen the aftermath like you guys, but I was letting her know that basically our our routine schedule of the plane um, that we was, um, the routine schedule was off. Basically, I looked on my phone because I have an app to tell when the flights are coming in. And basically it said that it was um, delayed. And then come to find out this is why it's delayed. So that's, that's pretty much all I know. What is your role here at the airport and how has this kind of impacted uh, the day-to-day -day schedule today? Um, I pretty much work on the ramp. I guide the planes in and out. And as you can see, like right now, we're, there's no planes coming in and out. So I'm not going to say I'm chilling, but I definitely don't have any work to do. Right do you now. see for how long this might last? Uh, we've seen that this uh, has been closed off uh, for about an hour at least. But do you think that it's probably going to last a, lo a bit longer than that? I think I would think so. I would and think so. Kurt, can you tell us a little bit? You mentioned I know you said you didn't you didn't see or hear anything. The people that you've been speaking with, your your coworkers, has any did anyone tell you about what they heard or saw here? No, honestly, they're all down that way, and I just had I'm just nosy, so I walked up. I'm gonna be honest. So yeah. And what's the general mood of the employees here right now? Were they surprised? Just concerned and just wanting to know what was actually going on. Um, are, is anyone, are you able to give us uh, what's going on inside Terminal 1 right now? Are people just, for those who have, uh, were awaiting for flights, um, are they is still, are things out of pause inside there? I don't know. I, I can only speak for the employers, for the employees. Um, I haven't been to where the passengers or the customers are. As far as the employees, have you guys been given any instruction as to what to do at this point, or did they say to just stand by until... Yeah, it's just delayed. We just know it's delayed. That's all. That's it. That's all. When does your shift run until? Are you leaving here soon? Uh, no. I'll be here until 5, I believe. Yeah. Well, Kurt, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Glad you're doing well. No problem. Renee, Jeff, we're going to send it back to you all in the studio. You just heard that RDU employee telling us he didn't see or hear this happen. He came over here to see what was what was going on and obviously a scary situation here. One last look over here at the plane over on the tarmac. You can see I mentioned about five, ten minutes ago we were seeing some of the response here start to dissipate a bit. It is now an even smaller scene. There were three of those neon trucks out here. Those are all gone. The police presence has kind of gathered here together in a in a clump over here on the side of the plane. We're also seeing fewer people out walking over here on the runway right now. It's certainly sort of an eerie feeling also. Monica Casey live out there, Terminal 1, uh, the, the secondary runway there. Thanks for that update. Uh, eerie feeling hearing from that ramp worker saying, mm -hmm. we're waiting for this plane, I'm assigned to this ramp, I'm waiting for it to come in, it's delayed, 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 and then you find out why. Such an unusual thing to happen while you're on the job, Erie, for uh, the people who are waiting to travel and for those folks who are there uh, working the normal operations uh, for RDU, and this is anything but normal uh, to see uh, this small plane crash there on the secondary runway. And if you're just joining us here on WRL, we've been providing you live coverage on this small plane crash at RDU International uh, that we're learning happened around 10:10 this morning. And as we take a 
that close up view of that plane, you can see the tail number on that small plane, N228CH. And we've learned that it's registered to Medical Air Incorporated and that it flew from Wilmington International Airport. Yeah, it actually, it was a, a round trip this morning that left from RDU International Airport, landed in Wilmington at 721 this morning, turned around and flew right back because at 1008 there it was um, uh, registered as landing in RDU, but this is the result of how it landed. Uh, there certainly that crash landing, uh, fixed wing single engine plane uh, with those injuries there to those two people on board. And it, as we mentioned, it's registered to Medical Air Incorporated, um, run by UNC Air Operations, hence that UNC logo that you see on there. We looked on their website and it says uh, the service typically flies five to seven flights a day and it carries medical faculty and or residents to Wilmington to see patients. And we've been looking at the itinerary for this plane, started out at RDU, flew to Wilmington this morning, and then flew from Wilmington on the way to RDU and at 1010, uh, that crash there in the runway. It certainly makes it uh, a little more uh, intriguing to find out exactly who was on that plane knowing that it has those local ties and that it is typically used on a day-to-day -day basis to get potentially doctors to go see patients in different areas. So Michelle McConaughey live in the WR Live Center right now with another update for us. Michelle. Yeah, guys, we just heard from UNC Health. Uh, they did release a statement to us saying that the plane uh, was carrying a physician and a pilot. Uh, they say right now that both are being taken to the hospital. Here is the statement. UNC Health has learned that one of its UNC Air Operations medical planes crashed this morning at RDU. The plane was carrying one physician and the pilot. Both have been taken to the hospital. We are working to gather more information. So that just in uh, to our newsroom from UNC Health. They're releasing a statement again, the plane carrying one physician and the pilot. So as soon as we get any more information about their conditions, uh, we will be sure to update you. We also want to quickly update you on the delays uh, still climbing. I was just here five minutes ago saying there were 40 delays. That has since climbed uh, to 55 delays. No planes flying in or out of the airspace. Um, I know that our uh, flight aware was saying that it would be at least uh, 1130 until planes were able to take off from airports to come in into RDU. Uh, that has not been updated and that's just a couple of minutes from now. But I do find it kind of hard to believe that that's going to be the case because this is still such an active scene. Uh, so we will continue.